Welcome to the Global RPH Medical Terminology Introduction. This extensive guide was produced by Baron Hirsch, MBA, who has extensive experience working with medical terminology. Healthcare professionals use specific terms to describe what is happening with their patients. These terms are not just random words, they are carefully chosen to convey precise information about a patient's condition, treatment, and progress. This specialized language is known as medical terminology. This medical terminology ensures everyone understands each other. It acts as a universal language among healthcare providers, allowing them to communicate complex medical information quickly and accurately. Whether it's a nurse updating a doctor on a patient's status, or a surgeon explaining a procedure to a team, this shared language is essential. It breaks down language barriers and helps healthcare workers provide the best possible care. By using standardized medical terms, healthcare professionals can collaborate more effectively, share information more accurately, and ultimately improve patient outcomes. The roots of medical terminology lie in ancient Greece and Rome. Scholars and physicians from these civilizations laid the groundwork for the language we use today. As medical knowledge grew, so too did the vocabulary needed to describe it. Over the centuries, new discoveries and advancements have led to the addition of new terms. The invention of the microscope, for instance, opened up a whole new world of microscopic structures and processes, each requiring its own specific name. Medical terms are not random collections of letters, they are meticulously crafted to convey precise meanings. They use prefixes, root words, and suffixes. Each part plays a crucial role in forming universally understood terms. Think of it like building blocks. Each part has a meaning creating uh, a word with a specific medical definition. For example, cardiomyopathy, cardio heart, plus myo, muscle, plus pathy, disease, it means a disease of the heart muscle. Understanding these components is key to mastering medical language and improving patient care. Decoding medical terms is like solving a puzzle. It's about breaking down a word into its individual parts and then piecing together their meanings to understand the whole. Start by identifying the suffix, which often indicates the procedure condition or disease. Next, look for the root word, which gives you the body part or system being discussed. Finally, examine the prefix, which provides additional information about the root. Section 5. Common Prefixes in Medical Language. Prefixes are powerful tools in medical terminology. They can completely change the meaning of a word by indicating location, quantity, or time. For example, the prefix hyper means excessive or above normal, while the prefix hypo means deficient or below normal. Understanding common prefixes can significantly speed up your medical vocabulary. For instance, knowing that tachy means fast helps you immediately understand that tachycardia refers to a rapid heart rate. Section six, essential suffixes in medical language. Suffixes often indicate a procedure, condition, or disease. For example, the suffix ida signifies inflammation, as in appendicitis, which is inflammation of the appendix. Similarly, the suffix ectomy means surgical removal, as in appendectomy, which is the surgical removal of the appendix. Mastering common suffixes provides you with a framework for understanding a vast number of medical terms. Knowing that algia means pain allows you to decipher that neuralgia refers to nerve pain. Section seven, mastering medical root words. In this chapter, we will delve into the fascinating world of medical root words, which form the backbone of medical terminology. Root words are the foundation of medical terms. They provide the basic meaning of the word and are often, often derived from ancient languages. For instance, the Greek word cardia means heart, and 
It forms the basis of, of many heart-related terms. Understanding root words is essential for deciphering medical terminology. It allows healthcare professionals to break down complex terms into more manageable parts. For example, the root word gaster refers to the stomach. This root word is the basis for many terms related to the stomach and its functions. By adding different prefixes and suffixes, we can create terms like gastritis, gastrectomy, and gastroenterology. Mastering medical root words is a crucial step in becoming proficient in medical terminology. Section 8. Strategies for Success. Learning and Retaining Medical Terminology. Learning medical terminology can feel overwhelming at first, but with the right strategies, you can effectively master this new language. One effective method is to break down words into their component parts, prefixes, roots, and suffixes, and then practice building them back together. Utilizing flashcards, mnemonics, and other memory aids can also be helpful in retaining new vocabulary. Section 9, The Power of Medical Terminology, Enhanced Communication and Patient Care. A strong grasp of medical terminology is essential for effective communication among healthcare professionals and for providing safe and efficient patient care. By using a standardized language, medical professionals can ensure clarity, avoid misunderstandings, and ultimately improve patient outcomes. Medical terminology is more than just a collection of words. It is the language of healing. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the Global RPH YouTube channel. See the description below for links to major medical terminology sections on the Global RPH website. Good luck on your medical terminology journey.